Students at Brem Preparatory are getting a first-hand look into the inner workings of robotics. The high schoolers are piecing together a prototype and honing their skills in an array of career fields. News Race Clint Misselhorn has this week's Class Act. FIRST ROBOTICS IS NOT JUST ABOUT BUILDING ROBOTS, IT'S ABOUT GRACIOUS PROFESSIONALISM, WHICH IS THE CORE VALUE. I got it. THE MEGAHERTZ TEAM AT BREM PREP IS GEARING UP FOR A DATE IN MARCH THAT WILL TEST WHETHER THEIR ROBOT, BUILT FROM SCRATCH, CAN OUTDUEL THE COMPETITION. STEERING WILL BE AN ISSUE BECAUSE THEY'LL COMPETE ON AN ARENA FLOOR THAT WILL BE AS SLICK AS ICE. We use what's called Ackerman geometry, which is used in, in, in cars to trace out two different circles. And we're individually controlling the speed of each of the wheels so that we can detect whether one wheel is slipping versus another wheel and slow down to compensate to regain traction. A cannon will ultimately help them score points. We got inspiration from a baseball pitching machine. We have a set of rollers on both sides of the ball powered by, by a motor, which all rotate in the same direction. Developing this robot has helped these students gain knowledge in a variety of areas, besides engineering. We have a sophomore in, in high school who knows like three different types of welding. I do a lot of programming of the robot, which is not something your everyday high schooler does. And with these skills, the kids on the Megahertz team will have a jump start on their careers. A lot of people kind of separate high school from what they're actually going to be doing, but this kind of puts them in that career situation with the timelines and the budget restrictions, and there's never enough, and there's never enough time. In Carbondale, Clint Misselhorn, News 3. Now, if you have an idea for a class act we want to hear from you, you can write to us here at the station or you can drop us an email, news at WSILTV.com.